Naravas has gone over to the enemy? Well, I guess we really will have to wage war. Leave my tent. I need to prepare myself. Gather the troops, sound the trumpets, and move forward! We will surprise their harvest before he launches his attack. Spendius and Matho are quicker than Narhavas. They come upon the Numidian army, leading the Gauls, Balears, the Tretskins, and the Pariah allies, and chase them into the back country. It was time. Already Hamilcar is leaving Carthage. Spendius and Matho turn around to face him and attempt to catch him between them. Hamilcar immediately reacts. He sends some of his troops to fight Matho while he marches towards Spendius with his elite soldiers. To the south, Matho is victorious and pushes the enemy back into the city. To the north, Spendius is having problems. He quickly understands that he cannot hope to conquer, by normal means, one of the era's best generals. To save his army from being totally destroyed, the adventurer must retreat towards the Solitude Mountains. Alas, this happens to be the exact spot where Narhavas has regrouped his forces after his defeat. Like wolves heading off game, Hamilcar and Narhavas push the mercenaries into the Hatchet Mountain Pass. They block off any possible escape by throwing rocks from the tops of the cliffs. Spendius and his men are caught in the trap. The enemy is content to keep the high position, waiting for thirst and hunger to do the job. It's your fault that we're trapped here, Spendius. Our time is limited, and all I hope is that you'll die before me. I want to see you let out your last breath like a burst bladder. Leave this sewer? The lack of sustenance has driven you crazy, Spendius. The men are too weak to move, and no longer have any faith in you. They won't obey you. Are you dreaming? The enemy is solidly camped out on the heights, and no matter what he does, Matho won't be able to dislodge them. Don't count on his help. There's nothing in this pass. Not one single thing that a human being could eat. 